Students at Washington and Lee University are launching a new program to help low-income or previously incarcerated people regain their driver's license. 10 News reporter Alexis Davila tells us how the Blue Ridge Mile project may be a catalyst to a statewide expansion to all colleges. Whether you need to pick up groceries or head to your job, your driver's license is essential. But when a judge orders to take your license away, the process to get it back can take months. I had one client last week that had 70 months. As the president of Drive to Work, Sarah Wilson says without a license, low income and previously incarcerated people now have another barrier to overcome. The rural areas in particular have a challenge. Um, there's no public transportation. If you work at uh, many of these jobs are at night. You can't get there. That's where Washington and Lee University students step in. The students receive client referrals from a judge in Buena Vista. Then they work one on one with the client to interpret the complicated documentation to lead them down the right path. We're really there to help kind of grease the wheel and help people take the next step. In fact, we've been trying to collect more data and learn about the larger barriers that exist systems wide and the ways that we could be able to affect change. In three weeks, the Blue Ridge Mile project gained seven clients. It gives students like Gabe Miller a chance to learn right inside the courtroom. It gives us a lot more insight into what exactly is going on with their case and we can work with them a lot better. Wilson hopes the pilot program will expand to other colleges and offer resources in underserved areas like Southwest and Southside Virginia. In Buena Vista, Alexis Davila, 10 News, working for you.